Hey mama, if you're pregnant and your baby is breached, you are watching the right video because at 32 weeks, I found out my baby was breached and I turned her head down in one day and it was confirmed by a second ultrasound. But this is an update video. I turned her head down doing different exercises in that video, which I'll link below. But the question is, did she stay head down? And if she did, what did I do to keep her there? More tips on the other side. Stick around. <laughs> Hey, I'm Tamatha Lene, indie artist, songwriter, and a mom. Every Wednesday, I upload videos on mommyhood, and on Fridays, it's all things music. So subscribe if that is your zhuzh. <laughs> is that a word? Subscribe if that's your thing, if either one of those are your thing. And um, if both of them are, well, hey, double the fun. So when I posted the first video, I was 34 weeks pregnant, and um, I had my baby found out my baby was breached at 32 weeks. And so I went into immediate action on how to turn my baby head down. And there's seven tips that I posted in that video, and I'll link that video down below so that you can watch those seven tips because I'm not going to fully recap them, but I am going to talk about the ones that I really continued to do and that I think helped. So answer to the big question, did my baby stay head down? The answer is yay yes she did <laughs> she stayed head down she was a good little girl and i was able to deliver her all naturally no epidural that's a whole nother story i am going to share my birth story anyway back to the head down and breach in the other video which i will link below i gave seven tips seven different things exercises and things that i did to keep my baby head down the one tip that i continued to do throughout the whole rest of the six weeks from 34 weeks to 40 weeks was this yoga ball. Any spare moment I had, I was on the yoga ball, giving space and room for the baby, doing the exercises that I talked about in the other video, which were basically just pelvic rolls, rotating um, 10 to one side, 10 to the other side, just um, and keeping your, your pelvis open in that pelvic area with space so that the baby had room to rotate and turn. I did that every day, multiple times a day, all the way up until when the baby was born. Plus some of the other things I talk about in the other video, like how to sit correctly, different things like that. I did that all the way until the baby was born. And I feel like that was crucial. But what did I do new? What are the tips that I didn't talk about in that video that I actually added on to my routine that kept that I believe kept my baby head down and allowed me to have a wonderful delivery. The first tip, I changed my mindset. I completely changed my mindset. I feel like in America especially, we have this fear as women surrounding birth. We're really afraid of birth. It's like it's instilled in us and I don't feel that that is um, the natural way like women have been giving birth since the beginning of time <laughs> you know without all of the things that we have available to us now why are we so scared of birth in other countries there's not this fear of birth it's just it's just like this is what we do and I feel in America as women we have a fear around birth and so I changed my mindset from fear to trusting my body would do what it was designed to do and the baby would do instinctually what it was created to do which was to be head down so I just trusted I just gave it up to God I said Lord you know I want this baby to be head down you know I don't want a c-section you know I want a natural birth and um, I've been doing all the things I can do but now I just got to give it to you so when I totally just released the stress because we all know stress is a killer literally over time if you have actual mental stress around my baby's breach my baby's breach will my baby turn i don't want to see section and that's what i was doing i was kind of obsessing a little bit about it when i first found out i could feel myself you know how you can feel the tension well i can anyway let me know if you can but how you start to feel the tension creeping up into your neck and you're feeling tense i was feeling that so if you're if you're feeling that the baby is feeling that it can inhibit the baby from actually turning. So I'd say the most important thing to do is to release 
the stress and the tension and just trust that your body and your baby will do what it needs to do. If the baby doesn't turn head down, it's not the end of the world. It's not what we want, but it's not the end of the world. We're in a medically advanced um, world and they have it set up where if the baby is breached, they can take care of you. Once I just released the stress surrounding that, then I just, I felt so much better about things. And I really feel that that really helped my baby to stay head down and just helped me to enjoy more than anything, just enjoy the fact that I'm pregnant. I mean, it's really one of those beautiful things that we can take for granted. And you'll, you know, I picture myself looking back, you know, 30 years from now, like, oh, and I was pregnant. I don't want that all to be surrounded with a negative memory of, I'm just stressing out because I, the baby was breached. Ways that I released the stress, like I said, I just, I prayed about it and just as I let God know what I wanted and what I was requesting and just trusted and had faith that he would see that through. And then um, I also continued to do the things that I knew I should be doing physically. So I didn't just pray about it and say, okay, now I'm just gonna do whatever. I continued to do the things that I felt were really important, like all the exercises that I share in the other video and then um, getting my rest. Uh, and then eating correctly. So that brings me to tip two that I feel really helped keep my baby head down and cooperate, help my baby and my body to cooperate and work together to keep her head down was if you're not eating right, start right now. If you haven't been, because we know how it goes, start right now. And I have a whole series, 10 tips to a healthy diet during pregnancy. I'll link that series below. But I really feel that when your body is really healthy and nourished in the way it needs to, things start to work together. If you are doing the things you need to do in your control, which is getting your rest, not stressing out, and then eating right, fueling your body correctly so that it can do everything it needs to do and give the baby the nutrients it needs to grow correctly, I really feel that that helps in the baby staying or turning to the head down position as opposed to just being so stressed out that we're just eating whatever we wanna eat and um, you know we might have a few little snacks in there that aren't really you know healthy approved but <laughs> but making sure that you're not going so berserk and so off that you're not getting your different greens and things like that so check out that series because I really go in detail about what you should be eating and things that really help things that I feel helped me get pregnant and then helped me to have a really healthy pregnancy the final thing I think is really crucial and it sounds kind of fluffy and there was a time period where I might have turned my nose up at this but I really believe it now and that is visualization I just pictured the birth I wanted, the labor, the delivery. I pictured my baby turning head down, staying head down. I pictured me calm. I pictured, you know, so many different things that I wanted. All the things that I wanted for my birth, I pictured them. And one of those, the most important thing I wanted was for her to stay head down and for me to have a natural vaginal delivery. I visualized it and I prepared. The fact that you are actually watching this video right now shows me that, hey, you're preparing, you're trying to do what you can to be active and proactive at having a healthy birth and having your baby in the right position. Um, so I'd say along with that, just visualize your baby turning head down. Visualize having the birth that you have always desired and dreamed of. Don't forget to check out the other video that has the seven tips on how I turn my breech baby head down in one day. It's in the description box below. Please do give this video a like if you did like the video because that really helps the channel. So I appreciate it if you do like. And then also subscribe to the channel if you wanna stay up on all things mommy. I'm gonna be uploading videos, like I said, every week about mommyhood and mommy hacks and health thing, how to have a healthy baby, different things, how I am getting healthy and staying healthy and keeping rested in this crazy time while being an indie artist and an entrepreneur, still pursuing my dreams while I am now a mother, which is crazy for me to think of. Sending all of you mommies good vibes, head down vibes, and encouraging you all to just trust that your body and your baby will do what it was designed to do and you will have a beautiful birth with your baby head down.